welcome to Mama Ruth's house. I'm so glad you stopped in. Again, I want to apologize for not making as many videos as I was. My husband is very ill. He is home, praise God. And um, I'm, but I, I am his caregiver. And so it is um, going to be a long road. So I probably won't be making as many videos, but I just love doing it. It's kind of a, a wonderful thing for myself to do. And um, it just helps me get through this. I wanted to show you that when it was my birthday, they had a, an apron making station. And my daughter-in-law, Dorothy Jewett, made me this apron. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know if you guys could see it. So cute. So I got that, and then of course, my best friend made me some Mama Ruth's house towels. We're gonna use that on here, because I always am grabbing a towel. All right, T today we're going to be making a dish that is almost completely from my garden. Um, the onions, the garlic, and Roma tomatoes are the only things that are not from my garden. Everything else is, well, obviously oil and seasonings, but everything else. Um, and we are going to be making a, a homemade garden ratatouille that is layered. So it's a homemade garden ratatouille that's layered. This is makes six servings, and they're three points each if you're following the Weight Watcher plan. Um, let's, with all that being said, let's get started. Bring you down so you can see. All right. So we're going to put two tablespoons of olive oil in our pan. Get that good and hot. In this oil, we're going to saute onion. And some grated carrot. Oh, and the carrots aren't for my garden. Forgot about the carrot. This is a beautiful dish. It's, it's very colorful and delicious. I hope that you all will enjoy it as much as I do. And you can change it up. I switched it up. Um, whatever you have available, your vegetables, is what you can use. So we're going to get this cooking. This takes about mm, 15 minutes to get nice and, and uh, browned. And, and after it thickened, once I put the... Crush, we're going to use crushed tomatoes. So the recipe actually calls for zucchini, eggplant, and zucchini, eggplant, and to Roma tomatoes um, for the layers. But I am going to be using my eggplant, my Japanese white eggplant. And I have some Japanese um, purple eggplant. Also, I'm going to be using some yellow summer squash, zucchini, and the Roma tomatoes. So it'll be very colorful. We're going to bake it on 375 for 30 minutes covered. And then we will uncover it and then bake it for another probably 40 minutes. Um, just till the vegetables are all done. I've cut my vegetables with my mandolin so they're all uniform and they're about an eighth of an inch thick. This is a super simple recipe. It, um, it just it takes a little bit of time to, to assemble it, but it's really, it, it makes a beautiful presentation as well if you're going to wow your guests. Basically, everything but the oil is uh, free in this recipe. Zero points. Once this gets cooked a little bit, we're going to add um, garlic that I've diced up, minced up, and 
we'll add our crushed tomatoes. This is sizzling nicely. I hope everyone has had a good week. Again, I apologize. My, um, my videos are probably going to be sporadic for a little bit. And I do apologize for that. But, you know, family comes first. You have to take care of your loved ones. And this is my decompression is when I'm cooking. And so it kind of helps me step away from the situation. And, uh, and I love spending time with you all, too. While my husband was in the hospital for two weeks, I uh, was able to talk a lot about uh, my weight loss journey and my videos. And I'm hoping that I gained a few followers that decided to subscribe and, and um, from just talking to them at the hospital. It was very uh, heartwarming how people are receptive. And I appreciate all of you, each and every one of you. So I'm going to add our garlic. Today my husband is doing a little bit better. He's feeling a little bit stronger. He's eating a little better. All those things are positive things in the right direction. We have a few hurdles yet, but that's what, we, what we're working with right now. Okay, we're going to add our tomatoes. And it's salt and pepper to taste, so I would suggest that you um, do just that. Add it and then taste it and see how how if you need to add any additional or not. We're going to add two and a half teaspoons of basil, dried basil, and a teaspoon of parsley, dried parsley. Oh, I can't wait to have some. I love all my garden vegetables and and the it's like a pasta sauce. It's so yummy. So I am going to add about a half a teaspoon of pepper and see how that is. Down just a little bit because you have to remember you're going to have all those vegetables in there as well so it's going to take up some of the, the seasoning and I think I'm going to put maybe a teaspoon of salt with all the vegetables okay I think that's going to be my what I'm going to use and I'll create I'll, I'll fix the recipe if I add anything different. So we're just going to cook this until it's thickened a little bit. I'm going to get a spoon in. I cut up a lot of vegetables so I may not need them all, but I can use them for another use. Probably um, um, put them in the oven. That's not bad. I think it'll be fine when, when I add everything else.
turn it down a little bit. That got a little crazy. And feel free to add any of the, the spices that you prefer, that you like. I'm, I'm stirring it because it's bubbling and I don't want it to like keep bubbling, but you don't have to keep stirring it. Very flavorful dish. Not so much something my husband would like because he's not a fan of all those vegetables, but. But I, on the other hand, love them. And we're going to pour this in there in the bottom. And then we're going to take all our lovely garden vegetables. Actually, I think that's a little bit too much sauce. I, I did use a large can. I think I'm going to choose not to put that. I'll use it for something else. See, we got all of our vegetables that we're going to be using. And so I believe I'm going to just put them together however way. And we'll put it like that. So you're just going to put it around and we're going to... Um, Got the tomato in here and it really doesn't matter how you do it it's totally up to you just how you think it will look nice is what you're going to do actually i think i'm going to start from the edge i was going to do it from the middle but i think it'll be easier from the edge And you can put another tomato in there in between. It really doesn't matter. However you want to do it. I think I'm going to put these in the middle because they're a little bit bigger. Well, let me just see what's going on. So it takes just a little time, but it's going to be beautiful in the end. And I would think that whatever you're, you come up with is going to be perfect. Let me just start again in the middle. Yeah, I'll just make roasted vegetables out of the rest. All right. So that's how that's going to go. See how lovely that looks? And then we're going to just drizzle the oil on it.
that's the last two teaspoon, two tablespoons of oil. We're going to do that. Then we're going to cover it and put it in for 30 minutes. And then the rest of these I'm going to roast for a later use. All right, we'll see you in 30. All right, we're back. And we had it covered for 30 minutes, and then I uncovered it for 40 minutes. And it looks absolutely beautiful. It smells delicious. I can't wait to try it. I'm gonna put it closer so you guys can see how it looks. Look how nice that came out. I did put um, some fresh parsley and fresh basil from my garden on top. I did put some fresh parsley and basil from my garden on top. And let's try it. I can't wait. Scoop it out. Gonna be super hot. Put you up so you can see. So as of last weekend, I am down almost forty eight pounds. I'm so excited, and. Um, just eating this way. These are all, uh, most all my vegetables from my garden. I'm so excited. Super hot. Again, I want to thank everyone for bearing with me for, you know, I'm probably going to be able to post maybe one video a week. Um, on good weeks, maybe two, but uh, I just bear, bear with me and please continue to follow and to subscribe. It helps my channel. I thank you all so much. I can feel your, your good thoughts and prayers for our family. Super hot. Mmm. Super yummy. I will definitely make that one again. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining me. And until next time, make a fantastic day. Thank you. Mm -hmm.